It's your boy Darius, and I'm back, y'all. Man, what a mess we got, man. So, we're gonna be we're gonna check out. All right, T.I. and Tani, uh, their messy feud with their son, King. Now, for those who don't know, this past week, uh, King was on live. I guess he was, I don't know, something he did. I guess he was disrespecting T.I. Tiny for some reason. That's what I saw on Twitter. So we're gonna check out what Espresso, what she think about this whole situation. So no time guys, let's get it. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Recently, during the Atlanta Falcons game, T.I. and Tiny got into an altercation with their son, King Harris. Mm -mm -mm. Now, King lately has been trying to pursue a music career and he's been adopting this whole persona that he grew up hard. He wants people to believe that he kind of grew up in the streets and he's familiar with the struggle. Okay, there's a couple problems with this one. How the hell did you grow up hard i mean i can see ti saying that yeah because i know he grew up in a hard life but come on man you got a one for dad and a mom man who's been with you since day one they didn't abandon you said you didn't exist it so i really haven't checked king's music i don't know what his music is like so i don't know too much about his music though i'll put that there right now I don't know if I can read that. And he oftentimes mentions that he grew up with his grandmother. And I believe he says this a lot because he is trying to hint that he was neglected by T.I. and Tiny. He also wants to dissociate himself from the idea that he was born privileged. But the truth of the matter is he was born a privileged child. His father, T.I., is a famous rapper who mm. made millions of dollars in his career. Yep. Tiny also was a singer, started off in a singing group called Escape, collected checks from reality shows and from her songwriting. So both of his parents made their money, and he definitely grew up privileged. And he's trying to act like he grew up in the struggle, but T.I. and Tiny <sighs> had to check him and say, wait a minute now. You did not grow up hard like that. Yeah. You didn't wake up hungry. You didn't wake up with roaches on your face. And yeah. the only reason why you went to your grandma's house is because she coddled you and let you do whatever you want to do. That's basically what their whole argument was about. Rep out here. Let me hey, get my shit. King, have, though, you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Period. No, that's not the ghost. All right, then. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're or talking about. In the neighborhood, meet that roach up with roaches. Y'all want to go to the go to the bando in my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? You want to kill a rat? Do you want to come to the bando? You know how they say you want to come to the bando? You wasn't born with a silver spoon, like my son got me. Was born with a real Tiffany silver spoon. Yeah, look, look, that's the gold. That's the gold. That's what it's called to be. Just like he was, he was born with a silver spoon. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. He just wanted it to, to get make him to make to make to make him look better. He say sh he know not true. Silver spoon. I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Hey, you did have a silver spoon. Look, 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 look. Look, I ain't never, I ain't never ate with it a day in my life. So look, you don't know what you ate with. So look, you don't know what you ate with. Hold up, hold up. Hey, hey, we used to have to come to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the fight. You cried like a baby to go to your grandma's house. You used to hold your breath. Every day. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. No, I'm going to tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because he can suck and pacify over there. He was 12 years old. He was sucking pacify until he was 12 years old. He didn't do that in the house. You know what I'm saying? They try to say I was over there trying to suck a passy. But they ain't gonna tell you everything. Like they, they, yeah, they trying yeah, to they hide it. Ain't nobody hiding it. Sugar coated. It. Sugar coated. Ain't nobody hiding it. Sugar coated. You cry like a baby. I can tell you why. Where, where, ain't where, no where, kids. Where, ain't no where, kids where, in your neighborhood. Where, where, ain't no kids in your neighborhood. I'm outside at the green box. I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? 
Stop acting like you ain't had to come and check stuff over at the house. Stop acting like we ain't had to go check nothing in that neighborhood. Stop playing with me. Yeah, he capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Can't no nigga ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You, you drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You, you drop me in your hood, man. I stand on business. I don't feel like you stand on business. Yeah. Said, I've like been, been stood on business. One nigga burned I've been stood on business. Tis the season to deck the balls with 25% off. Business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Amen. I wanna put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like I ain't. You ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. Like what? You behind the mansion. No, y'all trying to do a big one. Trying to do a big one. Niggas ain't got too much to drink. Niggas done drunk too much. Niggas drunk too much. Let's go. Niggas get mad because we say the south ain't the suburbs. Then he wanna talk about some other shit. Like this be a city nigga. Just be a city. No, I'm being real, nigga. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping, nigga. You're capping. 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 I know. You're capping. I know you. You're capping. I know you. I know you. I know you. Shut up. Shut up. I know you. Ain't no mystery, man. I know you, though. I know you, though. I know you, though. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you let somebody play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? No, I ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What you mean? You are embarrassing yourself. Oh. You embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Get off me. Oh. Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. So hopefully y'all were able to make it through that clip. I Ooh. mean, it was just chaotic. It was pure chaos. Damn. And it was over something so small. But at the same time, I do think there is a deeper issue behind this whole argument. Yeah. The first thing I will say is I believe King Harris is a spoiled brat. And this is not to say T.I. and Tiny were completely blameless because they were mocking him. But also, I think King is just a brat. Like, let's be real. The way he talks to his parents is wrong, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's out of pocket. There's a way to express yourself without being disrespectful. I know King has always been the wild card. He's been the rebel. And he used to be mischievous on their reality show. But people laughed at it because they thought it was entertaining. But that behavior is not cute when they get older. They turn into insufferable people. And King has had his moments where he has been insufferable. I remember when he walked into this restaurant, I think it was Waffle House, and he was just talking crazy to the people who worked there. He was talking down on them, threatening them, and he just had this chip on his shoulder like he was more important than them. They was can talk like that. Yeah, I remember that. Man, I can talk how the f I want to where I, wherever I'm at. I'm on live, Shawty. Stop talking to me. Stop talking. This ain't your fucking restaurant. This ain't your fucking restaurant. Everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. I ain't tripping on you. I ain't tripping. Get the hell out of my face. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? What's your name? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know it. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. You still talking inside though. Why you inside? You can't stop me from doing shit. I'm doing shit. Let me get my food. Thank you. I'm just talking like they like that. They ain't like that. Before I get back here, pistol with them. Wait till I come back in the month of late night and then it's just you and I slap you up. Yeah. So this is just an example of how insufferable King's personality can be. He's very entitled and he's definitely a brat. With all that being said, I do have to kind of call out T.I. and Tiny a bit. And this is not to say T.I. and Tiny didn't do their best. They were working hard and they were making sure their children had what they needed. But at the same time, I do think they might have neglected King in some ways, which is the reason why he's acting out now. 
T.I. and Tiny were too busy to be there for him all the time. So they dropped him off at his grandparents' house. And while he was at his grandma's house, he was allowed to do whatever he wanted to do and hang with who he wanted to hang with. I don't think there was any real direction or structure, so he kind of went wild a little bit. I think this is why he wants to be a struggle rapper now, because he wants validation from those people he was hanging with. And also, he might find the whole street life appealing, considering that his father made millions rapping about it, and also considering that some of his favorite rappers today grew up in the same struggle, so he kind of thinks it's cool. I think that's partly why he's doing it, but mostly, he's doing all of this for validation. Mm. And I do believe he feels like he has been neglected by his parents, and he's not the only person who feels this way. In fact, his sister, Zonique, said the same thing. Okay, so I would say what hurt me would be, like, I'm honestly, like, my mom being, like, with Tip all the time. Damn. Like, and even now and today, like, that's how it is. Mm. Like, they're just tied to the hip. But now I'm grown, so it's like, I can't really. But it's like, they'd rather go places with each other. So anytime he gotta go, she gotta go. She gotta go. He go. It's just like. Yeah, man, it's a lot about that TV show, man, that got people confused. Because um, I live with my grandma. You know, we'll go to the house on like the weekend. They'll say, hey, we shooting today. We need y'all at the house. They'll come get me from my grandma's house. And right after we done, when the cameras go off, I'm right back to my grandma's house. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was outside, y'all. I swear I was always outside as a kid. Why? Because when you got parents who, you know, do shit in the industry, you know how y'all try to make it seem like, oh, you know, celebrity kids, they just got the best lifestyle. My parents, I ain't never seen them. I ain't never seen my parents. I ain't never seen my parents. Let's just call it out. Like, let's just call it what it is. Like, these folks busy. They is, they busy. I live a great lifestyle, and that's because these folks was putting in the work. They had me, and they said, I got to get to the work. Go to your grandma's house, and whatever. And my grandma let me do whatever I want to do. If I want to go over their house. I even started to notice some of the hair growing back at the end of the first bottle. This has literally changed my life. It comes in a little dry. They house, and now I want to go to their house, and now I want to go to their house, and now I want to go to That's where I was at. You get what I'm saying? I was everywhere. That's why when you look at my old pictures and my month throwbacks, I'm at everybody's house. <laughs> in some poor soul clothes, because my mom ain't even pet me no more. Bad. <laughs> But yeah, like, this is what I was trying to tell y'all. Like, y'all was at home with y'all mamas and daddies watching movies. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all had some rough times. And I'm, I'm sure everybody do. I'm not trying to downplay nobody. But I'm just saying, this was my, this was my rug. Because I say it to this day. You go read my motherfucking diary. I'm crying for my mama every day in the diary. But in song. Because I wanted to be a singer from the very beginning. So I was writing it in song, in song version. But my mama was gone, baby. She was getting to the money. Somebody gonna be texting me like, you're saying too much. That's how my team, that's how my team be. So here you have both King wow. and Zonique kind of saying the same thing. Like, T.I. and Tiny weren't really around for them like that. And this is not to say that they didn't love them or didn't care about them, but they weren't always present. So this does kind of shatter this image that they're all about family, they had a whole reality show called T.I. and Tiny's Family Hustle. But when those cameras stopped rolling, those kids would all go back to their other mother's homes or they would go back to their grandmama's house. So the image they created is definitely not perfect. And some of the kids have been speaking out about it over the years. In fact, T.I.'s daughter, Deja Harris, has been talking about her struggles with her family, particularly T.I. I mean, there would be times when she couldn't even communicate with her father because she felt like he would play the victim mm. and it would kind of make her feel silenced and shut down. I'm sure y'all remember when T.I. made those embarrassing comments about going to the gynecologist with his daughter just to see if she was still a virgin. Yeah, that was, that was so weird and so yeah. uncomfortable for her. Yeah. And so embarrassing as well. I never that. She has opened up about it. She's also opened up about her other struggles with her mental health and how she would self harm. And she even hinted that something happened to her when she was younger. So, it's clear that she dealt with a lot, but a lot of times her Ooh. feelings seem to have gone unnoticed because, you know, T.I. and Tiny wanted to keep this perfect family image when in reality, things ain't as perfect as it seemed. Mm -hmm. So when you see people like Deja speak out and Zonique speak out, and when you see King act out, 
there's a reason for that. And I do believe T.I. and Tiny do love their children and they care. They make sure to support their children and put them in the position to win. So I do believe they care. However, they're not perfect and yeah. they have made mistakes and their children have been negatively affected in some ways. They might have received all the perks and the lifestyle, but they just didn't have that healthy family structure all the time. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching. All right, I'm going to give my thoughts about this whole situation. Now, I really don't get, I don't like to speak on the their personal life, so that's their business. But for King, I think he is a spoiler brat because T.I. and Tanya are rich because he is as a famous rapper. Tiny is a famous singer and the group of Scape. But there's something behind it that's kind of feel like they feel like a bandit. But I mean, I don't get what King said. They live in a hard life, which I don't think so. Cause I know Ti rap back in his that like he living a hard life in his raps. So I remember when Deja Deja King, his daughter, when Ti was gonna take her to the doctor to see if she was still a virgin. I remember that part. That was like I was like, that is crazy and embarrassing, man. And I know T.I. got a lot of backlash for that. So my advice to it to T.I. Tiny, I hope you guys just work out with your kids, man. Be with your kids every day, man. Because life is, life is too short, man. So I really hope they work it out. And I wish they didn't put it on social media. They should have just kept it private. So that's it this video, guys. Hit the comment. I wonder what y'all think about this whole situation. Uh, make sure you like the video. Make sure you like the channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.